Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here in the bathroom uh, shaving. Hello to everyone. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, coming back, returning, keep watching these videos. Thank you very much. I really appreciate all your support. Uh, today's shave, I'm looking forward to this. I just want a nice, relaxing shave in the bathroom, uh, back home after my London trip. I've had a couple of shaves since then, but I've just not had time to film them. It's the weekend, so let's just, uh, let's just relax. Okay, let me show you what I'm using. The brush, DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves brush. Uh, you've seen this in a previous couple of videos. I think I, I used it a couple of videos ago. Uh, I just want to use it again. Very nice, they very kindly uh, made this brush for me. I'll put the link for everything in the description and you can uh, check everything out. Tuxedo knot, tuxedo style knot. I don't think it's a tuxedo knot per se, but um, yeah, that's the brush, very good. Uh, the soap, uh, I was sent this by Men's Soap Company. Uh, this is their Bay Rum uh, scented soap. Uh, made in USA, uh, I'll give you a look at the ingredients. Very, very good, all natural. Uh, this is a vegan soap, yeah, all uh, sustainable um, ingredients inside there. Um, it's a very, very hard soap. Um, if you can see it, if that will focus. Yeah, there we go there. Look, it's really, really hard. But the scent on this is, it's bare on, but it's, it's nice and subtle and it, f it smells to me very um, natural smelling. Um, very nice. Uh, so thank you very much to the Men's Soap Company for sending this over. I want to try this out. I have their lavender soap, um, which uh, I think I was given it by someone. Um, I think I was piffed it by someone, but I can't remember. Tom Harrington, maybe? Um, yeah, but here's their soap. Um, yeah, as I say, check out their website. Very good. Uh, in the current climate, with all the carry-on with plastics, stuff like that, they're doing uh, pucks. That, were, that are, you can refill, once this jar is empty or tub, instead of throwing the plastic away, you can buy uh, a new puck in cardboard so it's all recycled and stuff like that. So very, very good. Uh, the razor today, uh, this was very, very kindly sent to me along with a, a couple other razors from Felix in Austria, in Vienna. Uh, this is the Parker 63C. Yeah, uh, Felix contacted me, sent me a few razors which I'm going to use uh, a couple of Parkers, well, a few Parkers actually. <laughs> this is a rose gold handle, very nice, open comb, great razors. Uh, and he sent, he also sent me a, a Segus razor, which is a stainless steel one from uh, Madrid. They're made in Madrid in Spain. So I'm going to use that in a, an upcoming video. Great razor, um, quite mild, but I'll show you in a later video, as I say. Uh, today is all about this, the, the 63C with the rose gold handle. So thank you very much, Felix. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Inside that, I'm going to put a Gillette Nasset, just to see how those blades fare in uh, an open comb razor. Here it's here. Gillette Nasset stainless. Second use on that blade. This is a three piece. Comes apart like that. Yeah, very nicely made. Uh, I've done a, a video recently about Parker products uh, and how much I enjoy using them and how I think that they kind of fly under the radar a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy them. Yeah, perfect um, blade alignment, spot on. Very good. Okay, let's uh, get the brush wet. Uh, I'm not going to bloom the soap, I'm just going to go straight in and uh, see how we get on. I'll leave that brush quite wet. I've given it a couple of shakes, but we'll see how it goes. Actually, let me just uh, turn this down a little bit. Bring that down. Yeah, it might be quite dark now, but it's not too bad. Okay, here we go. So how are you all doing? Yeah, as you can see, look, it's uh, although it is a hard soap, it's lathering up, loading the brush easily. Yeah, as I say, I have their um, lavender scent, and it's very nice. And this is their beer rum. Yeah, a nice 
nice, uh, it's not too strong. Some people, some beer rums are, uh, they can smell a bit too artificial, but this is all natural ingredients, so it smells very natural, <laughs> which is good. Yeah, just loading the brush here. Yeah, don't be scared to load your brush heavy. I'm sure you've got um, plenty of soaps. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a good load in there, and there's plenty on the puck here that I will just wet my face, and I will use that as a bit of a pre-shave. Yeah, it's a nice uh, beer rum scent, very nice. Just a, a classic beer rum scent. Uh, nothing fancy about it, or. Um, you know, it doesn't have anything else added, it's just beer rum. Look at that. Excellent. And I can feel the, the slickness on my fingers. Okay, let's, uh, let's start lathering. Just uh, painting this on, we'll see. How much water we need to add. With the Kevy Shaves brush. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip the tips of the brush. Yeah, there look we can see. It's uh starting to lather up, I'm just gonna open this again. That thing that's shining in, what is that? It's like something bright in the sky in Scotland. What could it be? I just dip the tips of the brush again. Yeah, scent strength on this. Out of the tub, I would say about a, a four. But once it's lathered up, I would just give it about a six or a seven. Quite strong, which is nice. It's not too uh, clovey smelling, you know, some people don't like that. And uh, Some people's skin, uh, the clove in beer rum, it doesn't agree with them and it gives them like a reaction, but um, it's all natural ingredients in this one, so it seems to be okay. I can't feel anything on my skin, it feels nice. Look at that, very good. Great lather. Yeah, I thought it would be because the, the I know that the, the, the lavender soap that I have from Men's Soap Company is very good as well. Get back on there. <laughs> yeah, very good. More than happy with that. Okay, I'll just get rid of this water. How have your shaves been going? So I'm keeping this blade. There we go. Okay, Gillette Nasset Parker 63C double open comb uh, with the Men's Soap Company Bay Rum. You know, um, since I started using these Nasset blades, I've, I've tried them in a few razors. I don't think I've tried them in an open comb, like this. Uh, 
Uh, open comb razors are, they have a little bit more bite to them, but this feels very smooth. And the soap's nice and slick, and you can feel the cushion on it too. Very nice. Yeah, this little spot here, um, the last couple of shaves I've had, which I haven't filmed, but um, when the shave's finished, my skin has looked like that. Perfect. And then as soon as I put in the, uh, the aftershave balm, or the aftershave, it's, it kind of starts to go a bit red. So I'm wondering if there's something in uh, some of the balms I've been using. But I need to do some experimenting to find out. Great, great feedback. Parker razors. I like the uh, I like the length of the handle on this one. I just sit on my pinky and uh, let the blade and stuff do the work. And due to the nature of the combs, you can feel the blade going over your skin. As long as you have an, uh, a nice light touch, uh, I'll be okay, hopefully. <laughs> that feels nice. Nice residual slickness from the, the Bay Rum from the Men's Soap Company. Very nice. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for patch number the Yeah, very nice. Uh, that feels like there's a almost like a film on my face. Very good. Okay, there's a little bit of soap here. On the sink. Back to the brush. Yeah, I had a look at the uh, men's soap company website and they're doing like aftershave balms and stuff as well. Um, as well as their soaps, they do a few different scents, but as I say, everything's a uh, natural product. Very good. If that's your thing, if you're... Uh, if that's what you look for in soaps and stuff like that. But as I say, I'll put the link to the website. There's a nice lather. Very nice. The Kevy Shaves brush. <laughs> I still look at that and think that's that's me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, still no uh, tingles on my skin, which is good. As I said, some people with bay rum, uh, they can get a reaction to the clove. So far so good, and there's the, the tiniest bit of overhang on this razor. You probably can't see it there, well maybe you can, but um, if you do that you can feel it just at the edges. 
Oh, enough to probably catch you, but if you be careful. It should be fine. Beautiful slickness there. I can feel it just uh, going over that bit. Just there's a little bit of water on the razor, just helping it. Excellent. And uh, thank you for all the comments on the uh, the London Shaving Shops video. I, uh, I had so much fun doing that video. I didn't really uh, Speak, speak much on the video, I didn't really do much chatting on it, I just wanted to get in and film. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if the if the the people in the store would, would let me film. Um, but they did. All well, except Trumpers, which was a shame, but there you go. If, uh, they said I'd need permission, so I had to email someone and I just thought, right, okay. Uh, I did say to all the shops that I wasn't going to film if there was anyone in the shop, you know, if a customer came in and they were looking at stuff and I wouldn't film them and I wouldn't do, there wouldn't be anyone talking, I would put music over the video. You know, that was all kind of explained uh, when I asked. You know, because you've got to respect people's privacy and stuff like that. People are out shopping for <laughs> brushes or soaps and you know maybe they don't want someone's they don't want the partner or whoever to see it. You've been spending money in Taylor Full Bond Street again. I seen you on a Kevy Shaves video. You were buying a brush. Hmm you know so <laughs> I didn't want to get anyone in trouble that in that regard so it was fine. Okay, second pass done feels absolutely fantastic. Let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, back for the third pass, yeah. That, that, um, I can really feel like there's a film on my skin now from the, the residual slickness from that soap. Really, really slick. Okay. And as you can see, the lather hasn't uh, it hasn't dried out any. It's still nice and creamy, moist. Which is good. Just want to get a good coverage for this uh, against the grain with the the open combs. Very soft, it's not. <laughs> really good. Mmm, bare rum, nice. Okay, here we go. Pass number three against the growth. Tell you what, there's not much there. <laughs> yeah, good thing about that, look, you can see the, the lather travels through the combs very, very well. Excellent.
Yeah, I think uh, I think I heard someone say that Sterling were doing these uh, refill pucks as well, uh, which is good. You know, good for the environment, stuff like that, and also. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy one of these tubs, use it, then buy a refill. You can buy a refill if you've you maybe got your own container. Yeah, what was I talking about? London. Yeah, we uh, we went down for a couple of nights. Um, we wanted to see a show at the Albert Hall. We've always that's on our our bucket list. We did a tour of the Albert Albert Hall once, the Royal Albert Hall, and uh, the London. No, the Royal was it the Royal? The Royal Philharmonic Orchestra were playing there in the evening. It was a Sunday. There was a, a, a like a guided tour, and uh, so they were rehearsing. So we weren't allowed access to all areas, sort of thing. But um, we were allowed to kind of wander about in in the actual seating area and stuff like that. They showed us the Royal Box and stuff like that. And uh, as we walked out the elevator onto the very top floor in the Albert Hall, the, they were rehearsing the, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and it was a Star Wars, the music of Star Wars. And as we walked out the elevator, do, 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 uh, the hairs on my neck stood up and uh, then myself and Mrs. Kevy said, right, we, we need to come back to the Royal Albert Hall and see something here. So there was a band playing um, called The Script, uh, who Mrs. Kevy likes. Uh, they are a band from Dublin, in Ireland, and uh, it was a Teenage Cancer Trust gig, so Roger Daltrey was there as well, and he came on stage and he was chatting about the, the, the Teenage Cancer Trust, uh, so there was gigs kind of all throughout the week, and this was the Saturday night gig was the script, so it was great, there was a great show that Albert Hall, Royal Albert Hall was a fantastic venue, absolutely incredible, incredible sound, beautiful venue, it was packed absolutely jam-packed to the rafters and everyone was just having a good time yeah it was just it was just really good yeah so that's a london story <laughs> so here's the back to the shave three passes done feels great skin feels really good there's a, a couple little pickups need to be done let's have a little feel yeah just the usual spots um also that weekend was, um, there was a march um, kind of in where the Houses of Parliament are for Brexit, which is Britain leaving the European Union, it's a, just a complete mess, but um, <laughs> politicians can't agree on anything. So there was like a rally and a march and uh, we went down there on the Friday night when the the rally had kind of taken place all day. I've never seen so many police. <laughs> there must have been about 40 police vans, horse uh, horse boxes, stuff like that, and every one of them was jam-packed with police officers just sitting, waiting, uh, waiting on something. If, if anything happened, they were they were needed. But um, we went down to the rally, kind of beside Downing Street. But um, the atmosphere, it wasn't very nice, it felt a bit um, intimidating, it was almost like you could feel it in the air, there was a lot of people, by that time it was kind of about half past eight at night. Uh, yeah, so there was a lot of people there, had been uh, drinking beer all day and stuff, and uh, so 
we didn't kind of hang around there. I think it was peaceful during the day, but as the day wore on, and more people got drunk, because that's what British people do, <laughs> they go to a rally and just get hammered. <laughs> which isn't the best thing and end up getting arrested and stuff but uh, yeah there was about 15 police along Downing Street along the entrance and then behind them there was about 20 police with guns and stuff like that but um, people were just shouting abuse at the police and yeah you know they're just trying to do their job But there. Feels good. Wow. That's great slickness from that soap. Really nice. Okay, three passes done. Pick up's done. Scraping out what's left in the brush. Having a face wash because this is all natural ingredients. So I'll let this sit on my face, I'll clean my gear out, rinse it off with icy cold Scottish water, and I'll come back for the post shave. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's my phone. So uh, I'll see you in a moment or two. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, nice shave. Okay, on to the post. There's cucumber witch hazel. I've not used this for a while so nice and refreshing. Uh, beautiful scent. It's a uh, it's cucumber. <laughs> yeah very refreshing on the skin after a shave. Feels nice, very good, very soft, my skin, great. Okay, aftershave. Um, I only have one Bay Rum aftershave and it's uh, the Boots one, so I didn't want to use that because uh, I spotted this and I thought I'll use this because this is good stuff as well. Uh, old school denim and this is denim musk. Uh, there it is, if you could see just here, musk. Um, this is good stuff. That's a nice uh, restrictor in there. Should get a nice little tingle from this. Oh, not bad, not bad. Oh, what a scent. Pure um, old school nostalgia. <laughs> Very good. Nice. And uh, to put the protection back in, Mersol Emulsion. I'm very low on this one now, look. I have a new bottle in the den, so it's fine. Uh, I've, I've replenished the stocks. I'm probably taking too much of that. It's quite uh, milky. Milky, creamy, I would say. It's, uh, it's not very thick. Taking too much. It has a, a little bit of menthol in it, which I can feel on my skin, but it's very good for the skin. Mersol emulsion. That's a nice shave. Very nice. I'm uh, really happy with that. Yeah, BBS all over. Very nice. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too red down here at the moment. One little mark there. Yeah, but I mean, it looks okay now, but half an hour after I shaved the last time, it was uh, it started to get really red. It wasn't burning or anything, but I don't know, maybe it was something in um, one of the balms I used, I can't remember, I need to look back and see what I used. Um, but yeah, happy with today's, very good. There's one, 
tiny little dot there. I don't know if that's a little spot or something. Yeah, I'm very happy. Okay, let me uh, show you what we've used. I'll just put the lid back on the um, aftershave and the Marceau. A little bit from the, the lid. Okay, brush. Today's shave. The DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves brush. Very good, I like this brush. Great knot. I would say I would like it because it's got my name on it, but um, it really does perform very, very well. Uh, very soft, releases the lather well, holds it well, paints it on nice, easy to use, very good. I like it. I like the handle. Colours are great. Uh, the razor today, uh, thanks to Felix from Vienna uh, with the Parker 63C, uh, the double open comb razor in the rose gold handle. Very nice. Inside that a Gillette Nasset, second use. Yeah, I wanted to try it in a, an open comb razor. Whew. Very good blades. Uh, yeah, they're my favourites. Um, and uh, I'll look to try them in other razors just to see how they perform. But everyone I've put them in, they've performed very well. But Parker razors, as I've said it before, great. Double open comb, a little bit more aggressive, but if you uh, take your time with it, no pressure. Don't push down on it, it will give you a great shave. Very good, I love it. Parker 63C. The soap for today was Men's Soap Company Bay Rum Shaving Soap. Very, very good. Nice, natural Bay Rum scent, all natural ingredients, made in the USA. Um, as I say, I'll put a link to websites. Here it is here, all cleaned out. Yes, yeah, it's a hard soap, but very easy to lather. Uh, great cushion and glide and uh, the residual slickness on my face uh, in between passes was very good and it got better with each pass. Um, yeah, good. All natural ingredients as I say. Bear on. They have a few other scents which you can check out on their website. I'll put the links for everything. And you can go and take a look. Um, we then had a little face wash. Rinsed off with icy cold water. The post shave was Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Denim, denim, musk, aftershave, very good. And we finished off with Mersol Emulsion. And there we have it. Is that a little dot there? No. There's one little thing, I think that's a little pimple, looks like. Anyway, yeah, I'm happy with that. Are you happy? If you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah, great shave. Very nice, very close. Okay, thanks very much for uh, watching and listening to my <laughs> ramblings for today. Uh, thanks for all the comments. Keep them coming. I uh, do my best, as I say, to answer them. It's getting a little bit more difficult with more subscribers, but um, yeah, keep keep commenting and I will keep answering. It's my only interaction with you people uh, through YouTube um, and it's very good. Some of the comments that people leave are funny <laughs> sometimes uh it's good interacting with people that way uh yeah so that's it uh whatever you're up to this weekend enjoy yourself uh relax chill out have a nice shave uh and uh until the next time i shall see you soon take care